Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to yet again a brand new video on a very disgusting, um, or what even day is it? Wednesday afternoon or evening. And today, we're taking out the Schrocker. We're gonna hop in the car in just a second before I get absolutely drenched. But yeah, we're gonna be taking the Schrocker out today. Um, actually, we need to fill it up. So that's kind of my main thing. That's why I'm taking it out today because I've got a big drive tomorrow. Woo! And we're about to go for a cold start, baby. Let's go. There you go. The Rumble! And there's been quite a few things that have been done to it and are going to be done to it in the near future, which I'll talk about that in a second. But look at the starlight, guys, woo! This is kind of one reason why I wanted to do a nighttime POV in the car now. You guys can't see it when you're back here, I don't think, if I'm correct. But when you look back, you've got the sea of tranquility um, of the starlight. And if people didn't watch the video, of course, I can actually change the lights. If I use this app right here, I can turn the brightness up, change the colors. Ooh, fancy, fancy. I like white and I like it to be like this, or else it's gonna dazzle me while I'm driving. I sound like a fucking theory test or something, but I like it like this. So you can still see it. It's like a Rolls Royce, that's what I like. I but yeah, guys, before we actually get into today's POV, I wanna say a massive thank you to today's sponsor and a massive sponsor and supporter of the channel, Car Vertical. Listen up. If you bought a used car, you never know how shady its past has been. According to stats, at least every second vehicle could have been seriously crashed, clocked, or both. It's often life-threatening to drive such an unsafe car. Also, it's like theft from you, because criminal activities artificially inflate the price. For illegal mileage rollback alone, you could overpay up to 25%. Are you really sure what kind of accidents the car was in? Hasn't it been welded together from two? What's its actual mileage? Had it always passed technical inspections? Neither the seller nor the test drive will disclose this to you. Always check the car with Car Vertical and learn its real history yourself. If you are interested in trying Car Vertical out and giving yourself peace of mind when buying used cars, click the link in the description for an automatic 10% off or use code TOS for 10% off. So yeah guys, link for that it will be in the description below. Let's get on with this POV baby. Somebody's angry. Honestly, it's an absolute vibe driving at night when it's been pouring down with rain. You know what I mean? You got the you got the tunes on. Obviously, I'm not going to put the tunes on in here because obviously the copyright and everything. But it's an absolute vibe. You've got your high beams on, mate. I'm gonna have to. Ah, oh, there you go. Good on you. When you know when it gets to like winter time, people forget about their high beams. It's actually annoying. The amount of people actually have to flash to like turn their high beams off because they just forget. Because obviously it's been summer the whole whole time before this. Um, it's ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. I'm gonna have no eyesight by the end of winter. Is that a big puddle? Oh, this. Look at that cheek. Cheeky. Honestly, like. I don't know how people with rear wheel drives rear wheel drive cars actually function in this weather because like it scare it would scare the shit out of me going around a corner. What's he flashing me for? It would scare the shit out of me going too quickly around the um round a corner in a rear wheel drive car. That'd be scared of shit. I mean this guy's flashing me, I don't know why, I don't know. This should be, and I say should, be the last video with the stage one remap. I'm hopefully, hopefully, hopefully getting the stage two remap next week or the week after or sometime in the near future. I mean, honestly, you guys have been waiting for this stage two remap. I don't know. From birth to puberty was quicker than the stage two remap that I've been hyping up for the past six months. <laughs> Wow. I mean, going around a corner and more than 20 miles per hour on that would be terrifying. I mean, pass him extra wide. Why does this guy keep flashing me behind me? The stage two room up should be coming soon and it will be worth the wait, let me tell you. Because 
I should be, or the company that I've actually got in touch with might be putting a flame map on, which means this car will shoot flames, potentially. <laughs> it will probably blow the turbo up or the engine up, but we've got to go full for you guys. You guys have been waiting long enough, but that will be lit. Imagine the full flames coming out the quad exhaust tips. Oh my God, that will be brutal. Soon, that should have a bit more pops and bangs on it. I mean, it doesn't have any at the moment, so it should have some nice pops and bangs on it. <laughs> it's a love or hate thing, pops and bangs, but I think it's a bit boring without them because this car does not pop one bit pretty much unless you're in 6,000 RPM and letting off the throttle. It will do a little pop then, but that's about it. We need, we need, we need guns blazing, mate. That's what we need. Yeah, I'm, I am a little bit scared that it's gonna blow the car up. To be honest, I don't really want a six grand new engine um, <laughs> repair bill. But for you guys, we have to go big with this car. We've gone big with the exhaust and everything, so we can't go pussy, pussy footing around. Oh, my wheel is really sticky. I don't know why. Sticky fingers, mate. Can't see. Well, the traction control off just because it makes the pops a little bit, uh, the DSG farts a little louder. Um, look how vibe it looks. Yeah, listen. when you're going through like a tunnel or something oh baby that's one way to get to a man's heart a dsg far or oh, one way to get to my heart a dsg far and a good one oh, let's go straight we actually gotta go fill up left but let's just go straight because this is like a straight road basically so that I've got on. If you guys didn't see, I got new wheels. Let me pop a little picture on, on screen. It went, people love them for some reason. I thought people were gonna slate me for them, but I, I really like them. I don't, I just, I just didn't think you guys would like them that much. Um, but the tires that actually came with it are actually, actually really good. They're like my Michelin Pilot Sport 4s. Um, they never seem to slip, even in the wet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look, and people slate people for driving autos. Look how, look, I am vibing right now. I've got the starlights on. I'm chilling. I could be eating a corn dog in my left hand. I'm not eating a corn dog for legal reasons. Thank you, police officer who's watching this video. Let's go left here. Put a cheeky left. Oh, that car sounds fruity. Ooh. Car sounds sick coming through here, lads. Let's go right, let's pull a cheeky right. There you go. Moped guy, whoa, cheeky. Don't pull out, don't pull out. Oh, he's pulling, he's pulling. There's a cheeky flood there. Okay. Let's see if they've got momentum. Unero momento. Let's pull in. Head, head 
cam off because I don't want to be looked up funny. I'm already looked up funny in this car, so. Ooh. There you go. Well, oh, they do. They have momentum. Oh, I don't know. I think I. No, you know what it was, right? I cleaned my steering wheel today and it feels really sticky. I just didn't. I don't think I wiped off the residue enough. Oh, it's disgusting. Mate, I can't even tell. You know, you. You palm the wheel, you know, it's all sexy in there. Bro, it's not looking sexy right now, it's slippy. You know, you think, right, as, as like a sensible person, you like, you fill up like 80 quid in your car, and then you wouldn't put your foot down after pulling 80 quid, because you're like, oh my God, that's so much money. But then you just find yourself putting your foot down. But yeah, um, other than the stage two remap, we're gonna get like a K brace, for example, or we're gonna do a, a little bit here and there. And then next year, the car's actually going and we'll be moving on to our next project, unfortunately. Uh, which is gonna be sad to see this go because this car taught me more than the Corsa ever did. Like, the Corsa taught me shit, but the Scirocco taught me more shit. <laughs> And it's been such a good car to me. It's never broken down on me. It's had the odd problem, um, but like some people, they wouldn't even bat an eye to the issue. But because like you're a car guy, you notice, you know, little things. Like for example, right now, it's spitting out a little bit of white smoke, a tiny bit when I put it in reverse. I don't know what that is. I should probably show you guys in a second. But when I put it in reverse, I only say that because I could only see the camera out of reverse. There's a little bit of smoke coming out of it. I don't know that condensation or we got a coolant leak or or what but I had the rocker cover a gasket that was like 300 quid like you don't need it done like obviously for a car you what am I trying a car a non-car person probably wouldn't have found out that it needed it but because I changed the spark plugs I found out that it needed it so but yeah let me know what car you want me to get next because this is like the first video that I'm probably announcing that I will be getting rid of the car in the new year or sometime soon after that. I won't be keeping it because we're just running out of stuff to do to it. And all of the little things are like tiny little things that we could be doing to it. Um, but let me know. I'm thinking a rear wheel drive, cool car or an estate. <laughs> One of those two uh, and I'm good. Second car, you know what I mean? God, look, he's, he's on low beams and it's still dazzling me. I could, you know what I mean? You know those LED bloody headlights, they're disgusting. Watch, it literally tells me sometimes when I'm driving the Scirocco that n noise decibels are too high in here for my hearing and it may cause temporary loss. Mental. It might be even my music to be fair, how, how like loud I listen to it, but. Well, that's the kind of car I want, you know. Nissan 350Z. L lovely drift car, it sounds immense. It sounds so sick. It sounds like a Nissan GTR, basically. If you ever heard a, a 350Z. Mate, it sounds insane with an exhaust arm. I like it's a budget one as well. I mean, they're quite expensive to be fair. There's like five or, I've, I found the cheapest for like 5K in good condition. Um, but yeah, they sound insane for like how much they cost. I feel like so many people like come at me for like not driving on like, you know like, <laughs> You know like when people come at you for like driving too safe? You know like in today's video, I'm gonna get comments like, oh wait, hold on. There you go, a little bit of white smoke. I don't know what that is. I don't know if you guys can see, it's stopped actually now. But when I'm revving it, or moving off or something, there's a little bit of white smoke. But you know when people come at you for like, <laughs> driving too safely? Like I've never crashed my car before. And like, I've actually heard stories and like, I've heard like personal stories from people who have been caught doing 180 miles per hour, maybe not, I'm exaggerating the numbers there, but genuinely, who have been caught doing X amount of speed, right, 
who haven't got no fancy lawyers to bail them out if they get caught doing that speed. And there's been people I've seen and met who have been completely out of like driving for three, four, five years because that one thing that they did, you know what I mean? So it's like, to me, my biggest message to you guys would be it's not fucking worth it. Anybody with a car has their moments, even if they're a car guy or not. Just, I would say, like, I've genuinely heard stories from people who have been out of business for three years because they've done that speed or, you know, done something stupid. So, yeah, I know I sound like an absolute dickhead, like, road safety in that. But, no, nah, I definitely, I definitely push it. All right, then, guys, so, unfortunately, that is actually the end of today's video because my voice is starting to crack. But yeah guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Follow me on Instagram at the underscore other stuff. Subscribe if you are new. Comment down below. I don't know. Your favourite bloody dinner. And anyway guys, I will see you on faces in my next video. What? Pa